Okay, so guys, I'm out here walking my dogs, and I'm uh, going to talk about consciousness a little bit, uh, light worker stuff. I am going to talk about what I am, mostly what I do is frequency holding, and I do negative energy transmission. Um, that's how I help Mother Earth, Gaia, and the transmission of energy into positive energy on the planet for um, the animals and the planet. Um, you know, like a apple tree grows apples or a pine cone tree grows pine cones. The earth grows us. You gotta think of us as an extension of the earth. So let me go through this real quick. And this is real, real simple. We can make it real simple. Um, there's a few different parts of the brain. There's the reptilian part, which is the most ancient part. That's the fight or flight part. That's the oldest part. Um, that's the part of the brain that uh, keeps you alive in the wild and that is your base part of the brain and then some people most people um, well it really depends but a lot of people are left uh, side brainer people and they want to compartmentalize they want to organize come on Bella come on all right Yuri Bella wants to go in. we gotta go bring her in and then we'll bring you up and then people want to organize, compartmentalize, and say even if they do go to college and they learn something, say like physics, they o they only want to learn in their field. They don't want to learn anything else. And then you got right brain thinkers. These type of people are like artists, musicians. Um. So to be a frequency holder. What I have to do is, first thing I did was learn about chakras. Um, I still have issues with chakras and, and energy sometimes because I pull a lot of flack in from uh, the collective consciousness. Um, basically, you start off with the reptilian part of your brain, the fight or flight, and me, um, I'm already a right brain type thinker. I was always bad with um, organization in school and stuff like that. You want to go in? I was always bad with organization in school and stuff. So I was a uh, right brain thinker to begin with. But since I've become an adult, I've started to train myself. Come on. I started to train myself. Come on, Bob. And learn my and teach myself how to organize and how to use the left part of my brain. And once I learned how to do that, um, I started using the left and right side of my brain together. And all right, guys, I'll leave you guys in here. Once you start using the left and right side of your brain together, you will know. Um, you'll feel a change. It'll be a definite um, change. And uh, you got to learn how to meditate. You'll learn how to open up your third eye. And um, this is the deal. There's something called the sacred heart. The sacred heart. Or they're calling it the adamantum god particle. I call it um, the god spark. Or... I call it stardust because we're basically stardust because um, in order for anything to be made, a star had to explode to make planets and then it had to go out and another star had to form to give energy to live. So we're basically living stardust. And uh, right there is basically a little spaceship. He wants to come out to... Uh, show us that he's here in our video i do believe they don't always come out but that is that guy is coming out for us um 
I don't want to get too up into his privacy, so we're going to get away from him and go into the sun for a minute. But um, let's get back to what we're talking about. So you got the reptilian part, the right side, and the left side. And now you've got your third eye open. This can all work together without your heart. However, what happens is um, there is something faster than the speed of light in the universe. And this would be called the speed of thought. The speed of thought goes at about 100 billion times faster than the speed of light. And um, that guy's just going to sit there for me so you guys can see him in my video, I guess. That's what he wants. He wants me to show you. Um, so the speed of uh, thought is about 100 billion times faster um, than the speed of light. And it's a scalar wave. And um, you go back and forth in past and future and you just drive yourself nuts. So what you got to do is you got to learn how to use your heart. God particle, the intuition that was given to you by the Creator. And this is very important. What this does is it keeps you sane. And basically, what it is is it's an on and off switch yes or no, or go this way or that way for every single decision that you can possibly make. So I, I know that people, you guys have felt intuition for certain things um, this way or that way. So what you do is you can only power yourself so much in a lower dimension. So say in the third dimension is a very... From what I understand, slow, um, slow dimension, fifth dimension, is where our thoughts and our imagination are. Um, there's beings in higher dimensions. Um, God would be in a higher dimension than that. Um, also, God is in a lower dimension, which will. There's another guy, uh, which we'll get into talking about later. Um, a little light ship they wanted you guys to see I guess for my video oh, I got light ships all over uh, I'm going to go right back to the sun and I'm going to go back to the light ship real fast <sighs> and then I'm going to go to the house and I'm going to go back to the driveway to show you guys that I can't be messing around or messing with this video but anyways so you're using these four things. You're using your heart. You're using your reptilian part of the brain. You're using your left part of the brain, the right part of the brain. Oh yes, and your third eye. And you're connecting. That's what I do as a, a frequency holder. I pull uh, the consciousness from the mass conscious and sometimes other consciousness in, into my consciousness. And uh, from what my higher self tells me through my intuition, I see yes or no in my mind. Not even, uh, I don't say it out loud. It would be way too slow if I said that out loud. I say it in my mind, yes or no. And actually, by the time I even think yes or no, uh, they already have a YouTube video that was already made and done in the past. So... The speed of thought can go any point in time, um, past, present, or future. So you've got to be very careful once you learn how to do all this stuff because you can really, really do some damage to reality once you learn these secrets. Uh, if you're acting uh, inappropriately. So um, I haven't really figured out what to call this video. I um, hope you guys enjoy it, though. All right. I guess we'll call it the speed of thought. All right. Enjoy.